Welcome to the Quip Corner. Today's a really special day. Join me in the Quip Corner and find out. You may already know what we're celebrating today, but even if you do, please join me in the Quip Corner. And let's talk some more about this very, very special day. See you in a bit. Welcome to the Quip Corner with Ada. As I said before, today is a really special day because we're celebrating our future. Yes, it's World Children's Day. And it's, yes, a UN International Day. Interestingly, on the UNICEF website, where they're saying, come celebrate World Children's Day with us, their tagline is, a better future for every child. A better future for every child. And it lined up so nicely with the quip I had already decided to share with us today. And it's from my second book, Quip 52. And it says, when it comes to virtues, you can train or drain your children. When it comes to virtues, you can train or drain your children. Virtues are a very important part of our lives. Mm -hmm. because the virtues you have determine whether or not you have a virtuous life or not. Sadly, instead of virtues, some people have vices and they then have a vicious life. Virtues are not something you drink in water. You can't say, oh, let's sprinkle some virtues into the water or sprinkle virtues on your food and you'll get them as you eat and drink. There are things that we need to train our children on deliberately. And it's not a do as I say, not as I do. It is do as I say and as I do. As I was thinking about this video, I remembered something that happened to me when I was really little. I was to go to an interview for getting into grade one. And at the interview, the panel, one of the panel members said to me, so Ada, how old are you? I said, of course, really excited. Somebody wanted to know how old I was. I said, I am five, but my mommy said I should say I'm six. They chuckled. I didn't understand why. Needless to say, I got admitted into the school. And after the interview, I mentioned, it, I mentioned the exchange with, to my mom. And then my mom explained to me why she said I should say I was six. Because the interview was taking place, I think, either in July or August. And in September, I would have been six, which was when school starts. So I would have been the right age when school was starting. But she didn't explain it to me. So in giving me that instruction, Somebody could say, oh, no, she was telling you to lie. Not really. The challenge was she didn't explain to me why I should say I'm almost six 
or six or whatever. Because really saying you're six was a lie. But if I said almost six, but even then, as a child, I wouldn't know. Why should I say I'm almost six when I'm still five? You know, okay, five and ten months, five and eleven months, whatever. But over time, I realized that my mother started explaining to me why. And so with a lot of the virtues she inculcated in me, I understood why. Let me give you another example. Sometimes I'd say to her, Mommy, can you lend me money? Whatever, whatever it was, I asked her to lend me. And believe it or not, if you asked my mom to lend you something, you better be ready to pay up. Because the way she saw it, you choose your words carefully. If you want someone to give you something, you go ask, please, can you give me this? But if you ask for someone to lend you something, the person lending it to you is expecting it back. Sadly, there are so many people who have other people's books. As an example, let's not talk about people who have borrowed money and just never returned it. But let's swing back to children. Another virtue that is important to pass on to our children is honesty. Like, you know, I gave that first example. But some of us, when we don't want to talk to somebody on the phone, we tell our children to say, my mommy is sleeping or my daddy is sleeping or is out. Whereas you could just say to the child, if someone calls, tell them I'm not available at this time and I'll call them back. Versus making the child lie or training the child on how to lie. So when we sit and wonder, where is the world going? Some people sadly say, oh, the world is going to hell in a handbasket. Not my world. Question is, what are you doing with the future in your circle of influence? to make sure that they have the right virtues versus draining them of virtues and replacing them with vices. There's so many examples. I even think of people who pay their children to do chores. I'm not here to say whether it's right or wrong. You do you. We don't pay our children to do chores because we believe it is part of their responsibility as a member of a family. Otherwise, who knows? Very soon, I'll be paying them for everything. And then you wonder, where does corruption start? Where does it end? And I'm not saying it is corrupt to pay your children to do chores. I just said, you do you. You do you. So as we celebrate World Children's Day, I hope and pray that you think about what you can do to make it a better future for every child. Because when we raise our children right, their future will not just be bright, but it will be right as well. Thanks again for joining me in the Quip Corner. Each and every one of us is fearfully and wonderfully made. So let's keep it that way. Keep training and sharing virtues, not vices. Feel free to share this video with others. If you haven't already done so, please subscribe. There'll be a button on the right side where when you click, you're subscribed. It's as easy as that. And of course, if you click the bell, you'll get notified each time there's a new video. Thank you again for joining me. See you around. Bye now. Virtues are an important part 
of not just our present, but also of our future.